Dallas Center for just game day two of round two. Welcome to 2024. Keeper Alas looking to get things going for his squad and get a big win against the little guy with a big heart, Lance Ronquillo. USD has been hot. This is game number two of four in our Wednesday quadruple header USD Tiger Cubs, the De La Salzabel Junior Archers. Later on, we also have the UE Junior Warriors who are in back-to-back -back wins against Adamson Baby Falcons are looking to get a bounce-back win. And for our last game, the FEU Baby Tamaraus and the UPIS Junior Fighting Maroons for our fourth and final game. Good morning to all our UAP fans. We thank you for watching us on Filipinas Live. My name is Jaime Escalon together with Coach Juanito Gregorio. Coach, let's get right to the standings. Kasi hindi lang EDSA ang may traffic eh. UAAP Junior standing right now. It is a traffic jam as well. We take a look at the standings. Anything can still happen in the middle of the standings. There is just closeness with FEU, UE, and it's proving to be an intense season here in round two. You know, to start the second round, UST just got a win over Adamson, so that will make things a lot more interesting. You look at the standings here, UST just two games behind the number two, but UST is slowly really getting into their groove this season. But De La Salzobel is just two games behind itong Ateneo Blue Eagles, which they are still in the hunt for that final four picture. So you talk about traffic, yes, there is traffic in our juniors division, but it makes the season much more exciting. You mentioned the USC Tiger Cubs. Above them are Adamson and NUNS. We see here, uh, hear them uh, warming up now. But talking more about USD, let's talk about that last game. In the first half, it took a 12, last 12 seconds, they made a big stop. Now the two teams above them, they know they've beaten, and that gives them the confidence all they need here. You know, they are just peaking at the right time here in the season. To start the season, they were trying to get their flow, trying to get their rhythm, but now that they have their full-on confidence, their system is set. This is a very scary team in UST, and they just beat the unbeaten Adamson Baby Packers in that last game. Efficiency, hustle, and of course, also the heart of this team were one of the main reasons why they got their victory over Adamson. And you mentioned scary team. With scary teams come scary players. Like this guy, this kid, Andre Dungo, what a last game coach. 21 points, 9 rebounds, 4 steals. Yung tanong is, what can he not do? You know, Doy Dungo, as we call him, Mr. Doy with all. As he can Doy with all here for USD. This guy, anything you need from him on the court, off the court, his leadership, his energy, and more, more importantly, his hustle is the ones that are really bringing USD up here in the season. He's one of the lone veterans for USD. We mentioned in round one, it is a brand new squad. So Doi Dung has proven to be a catalyst here for the Tiger Cups. Meanwhile, let's shift our conversation to the De, De La Salle Zobel. Coming off a tough loss against UE, coach, the question for De La Salle is, can they contain the consistency per quarter because they were down by 20 but only lost by 6. So yung quarter basis, di natin alam which LaSalle will show up. Eh. You know, LaSalle just really needs to start strong. They were down by as much as 20. They slowly fought their way back into the ball game but just too late, too little time for them to mount a comeback. You see here the numbers. They gave up 51%. They gave up 52 points in the paint. But these were things that they adjusted on later in the ball game, but just too little time. So here in this ball game, for them to be able to battle, they have to start strong. They have to really get the rhythm going and eventually battle it out up until the end with the USC Tiger Cup. That's the main question, Coach. Can LaSalle have a great start? Because it's something that has haunted them here in Season 86. But one player who has impressed us the most, a common name, an elite guard, Kiefer Alas, another huge game coach, 27 points, 11 rebounds, 5 assists, another one of those elite guards here. You know, he really wanted to put his whole team on his back, doing the scoring, providing assists for his teammates, and even as a guard, really gunning for those rebounds. Kiefer Alas, of course, is one of the best talents here in the UEAP. The question is not with Kiefer. Who will help Kiefer in the... In, uh, the La Salle Jobel for them to eventually get back into the winning column. And the stage is finally set. Can La Salle pull off a big win? Can USC go for three straight? Let's turn it over for the marker for our starting five. At center, number 11, Koji Buenaflor. And guard number 18, JB Lim. 
And forward number 19, David Dumo. The other guard number 28, Lance Ronquillo. And the other forward number 34, Sam Reyes. Their head coach is Manu Inigo. Here now is the starting lineup of your De La Salle Zobel Junior Archers. At guard number nine, Keeper Alas. The other guard number 19, Arwen Arboleda. At forward number 24, Waki Espina. At center number 25, Charles DiMaano. In the other forward number 77, Tomas Cruz. Their head coach is Boris Aldeguer. Officiating this ball game, our crew chief, Ian Borbe. Umpire one, Winston Veloso. In umpire two, Clement Cecil. Take a look at our starters for the USC Tiger Cubs. JB Lim, Doy Dumo, Sam Reyes, Lance Ronquillo. And the elite big guy, Koji Buenaflor, as for De La Salle Zobel. We have Waki Espina, Charles Di Mahano as the veterans. Alvin Arboleda getting another star, Thomas Cruz, and of course, their star guard in Kiefer Alas. As for our referees for today's game, we also have Ian Borbe, Winston Veloso, and Ace Season for game number two of four live here at the Phil Oil. Eco Oil Center. Once again, I'm Mescalon with Coach Juanito Gregorio. And Coach, you know, one thing that really stood out in what you said is how will LaSalle start? Because we've seen it since round one. Once they've had a, a soft, a slow start, they're You know, that is one thing that is actually a threat here in the UAB, not just with LaSalle Zobel, even with the other teams. How you start will really determine how you will play the whole ball game. And LaSalle has been struggling in terms of starting, starting strong. But you cannot count out the talent of this team. You have a lot of talent that can really match with the best of them, more especially with the keeper last. And speaking of talent, that's one talented move from Thomas Cruz. Get their first two points. Great show of intensity so far by LaSalle. Take a look at this coach. A good step up by Thomas Cruz. Challenging right away the elite mix of UST. Through the right, spinning to the left, getting that short floater to start the game. Keeper Alas is denied heavily by Ronquillo. Di Maano finally gives it to Alas. Keeper finds Espina for three. He puts it in. A specialty of the house for Waki Espina. The guy has a Kevin Durant like shot where he is shooting above everybody. And with that height, that three will be easy for Waki Espina. Duo drives, kicks it out to win the floor. Di Maano is there. Shot clock down to eight. Koji. They kick out to Dumo. He fires a three. That time short. Alas with the rebound. Three on two fast break. Giefer. Couldn't take it all the way. And now it's numbers for USD. Dumo. Unafraid to shoot. A rebound by Cruz. So starts with the offense of USD here in this ballgame. Cruz. Nothing to use more time. Espina floater from the elbow. And Duo secures a rebound. Ronquillo with a burst of speed. He was fouled by Espina. Well, Coach, you asked for a, a strong start from La Salle. Here they go. And starting off really aggressive on that press, really cutting them in the corners. Uh, this, this is the way you want to start if you are the La Salle so well. You want to be able to get your baskets early. You want to be able to also uh, include all the other guys here in the offense, and that is exactly what is happening. Espina and Cruz start smoking. Toy Dumo really has found his confidence here. It was late in the round one and now early in round two. You know, he was being talked about before the season started as one of the best young talents, but it was late in the first round, as you were talking about, where he really showed up as the star of USD, and now he's one of the main guys of this Tiger Cup team. This time he gets a steal. Three on one, fast break. Dumo, the no look pass. Quinn of Floor had bad intentions but couldn't convert. And that's two steals in a row for Duo. You know, one thing not really talked about is the length of Doi Duo. This guy can dribble, this guy can shoot, but this guy is also very lengthy. And that is an advantage to him. 
Well, one player who's not lengthy but extremely skillful is Lance Ronquillo on that pass. You know, there, there are advantages. He can see the floor better. He can see a lot that the other players are not seeing. That is why Lance Ronquillo has so much advantage with that height. And he is also denying keeper a last year the ball game. Look at that, staying low to the ground. He gets that spin through spaces that only a few people can do. And uh, that is why Lance Rubino got that beautiful assist there. Kayo representative natin sa short oh, yes. playing skill yes, basketball. <laughs> that's why it's so happy to I'm so happy to watch Lance Ronquillo. You know, this game reminds me a lot of my days against the La Salsobel. Lance Ronquillo is tasked to defend keeper Alas early on. During my day, I was tasked to deny our co our co-broadcaster Renzo Subido just like this to start ball games. And this is the way Lance Ronquillo is starting as well. Meanwhile, Dumo uses the ring as screen. De Maano with the quick hands. Alas, the bounce pass to Espina. A great recovery by Doy Dumo on the fast break. You know, we, we know how skilled Kiefer Alas is. But how easy does he make basketball look? That was through two defenders. Yet, it looked so basic for Kiefer. Espina sends it out to Arboleda. De Maano to Alas, who has the mismatch. He fades away, and he gets the lucky bounce for his first two points. All right, on cue, he makes basketball look so easy. That fadeaway is not usually something high school player has. But Kiefer Alas, utilizing that time advantage, very quick step back, going for that first two points of the game. Dito siya nagpapanik na sa mga soft double teams, hard double teams. He's seen all the coverages he can get. Right. It seems like he just has so much basketball experience already. But it's just the IQ that he has that keeper alas really sets himself apart from all the other talents. Nako Dabao checking in for the first time. He had a really good second half in their last game. Reyes, ball pressure applied by Thomas Cruz. Sam, the spin move. Great box out there by De Maano, but the ball will remain with USD. Four oh five done here in chapter one. The Sal will lead a three-point lead against the Tiger Cubs. Lim, inbounds from the baseline, will give it out to Ronquillo. He awaits his screen for Reyes. Gets a switch, finds Reyes on the roll. De Maano telegraphs it. Taba slows it down. He gives it to Alas. Keeper, pull-up jumper. That one is butter. Keeper Alas now getting his rhythm here in the ballgame. Good start by De La Salzobel. Bullet pass inside to Sam Reyes, that time from J.D. Lim. You know, one thing I love about Sam Reyes is that this guy continues to move without the basketball. That is why he is always given the minutes, even without a big production on the numbers. Watch here first. That jumper of Keeper Lass. And then on the next play right away, Sam Reyes through the middle, through two, getting that good shot for Substitutions here for La Salle. Kiefer off the pin down. Alas contested. That time that's great defense from USC who is now running JB Lamb like a train. An offensive foul by USC. Samuel is trying to make space for JB Lamb on that pass break. Zone press here from USD. Alas gets it safely across court. De Maano, three pointer launch, that time no good. Battle for the rebound, it ends up with USC. Dumo goes behind his back, change of pace. Doi Dumo, how about that move? Doi Dumo just is really showcasing his full arsenal of talent here 
That is such a hard attack to do, yet he made it look so easy. Charles De Maano showcasing his big footwork right there. Charles De Maano might be undersized for that big man position, but he has enough skill to battle it out with anyone in front of him. Another good basket coming from Charles. And another offensive foul by USD. That's their second straight. Take a look at this move. From behind the back. Through two. Well defended. Yes, he made it possible. On the next play, also through two. Charles Duman against the much taller Reyes. And when a floor. Coach, pag tayo naglalaro, hindi naman ganun kadali yung basketball. Hindi. You know, I can't even believe we're watching high school basketball. <laughs> yung mga ganun moves, eh. No? How much talent we're watching. Tayo, floater, floater. <laughs> Masaya na tayo, eh. So, Bricks Versosa and Bondaha will check in. Joaquin Lodovice will check in as well for USD. types of turnovers that haunted them in that last game. Usually, Coach, they hit up until in some short corners. Yes. Eh. You know, that's why uh, USC is going to go for that 2 to one press because they know the weakness of the LaSalle Zabel, so they're going to try to force a lot more of those kinds of turnovers. There's that motion offense of Coach Mano Ludovice from the logo. to Pabellano. Looking for his point guard. They give it to Mako. Dabao launches and makes the three. You know, Mako Dabao, one of the best six men of the UEAP juniors. Always coming off the bench, but instant energy always for the La Sanzibel. Ludovice finding himself wide open for the layup. And gotta credit the big man for finding Rocky Ludovice there. High upon the trees is Brix Bersosa. There you go, Brix Bersosa once again. Being the man in the middle for that press break. Finding a cutting Rocky Ludovice. He used to be tall, coach. When you're uh, six foot six, six foot seven. Past couple of possessions, Lasal having a difficult time with this press. De Maano. Gives it to Dabao. He finds a lane. Free throw line jumper was fouled. And he will take two. The Mapa Dabao really providing a lot of different things here for the La Salle-Zobel. More known as a defender, but when he needed to step up in terms of his offense, this guy can shoot from the outside, can leak out and finish fast breaks, and also has a smooth jumper. So this guy is really one of the best young talents. For De La Salle Zabel. This is his ninth and tenth free throw in season 86. But talking about Mako Dabo, coach, he gives you that X Factor vibe. Because you know, Alas, Espina, and Demaano, that's your big three. And now Daha, Dabao, when they play well, usually La Salle gets uh, a good game in them. And you know, what's very important is he's coming off the bench. That is why he is instant energy for De La Salle Zabel, both on the offense and the defense. Carl Mandeng. Cuts this lead down to three under three minutes remaining here in quarter number one.
two legends of their own in Philippine basketball. But to start the second quarter, the bricks wall showing right away that there is no entering the bricks wall. So you wala siyang ano eh, wala siyang reaction. Wala. Hindi siya nagre-react lagi. He reminds me of a uh, young Junmar Pahar though. He does, where, he does. Yeah. Where, you know, even though he's already in the highlight reel, still the same reaction. He could dunk on someone and think not nothing yes. of it. But it's just part of my job. <laughs> Couple more substitutions here. Vise, Alas gets a steal, 3 on 3 fast break, Kiefer drives his left side, goes to his right, and that's an 11 out of 10 degree of difficulty. But he makes it look like a 1 out of 10 difficulty. It's the talent of Kiefer Alas. Kurt Velasquez pulling up from the elbow. That's already the package, the Velasquez, Ludo Vise, backcourt combination trying to extend the lead for USD. Asal moving it side to side. Under two minutes remaining, Dabao decides to drive, but Atienza was called with the offensive foul. We got to give props to the referees here for being consistent on their calls, on those off-ball screens. Two calls were called on Sam Reyes. The same thing now for Lasalle. The referees keep their eyes very sharp. While Esteban from the middle, he passes it to Velasquez, short on the floater. Dabao and Alas running, Mako, hang time, move, everything but the shot. Dangerous pass, Velasquez retrieves it. Lodovice for three. It's back of the iron, Arboleda with the rebound. Arboleda blocked by Manding. And that is what they call classic juniors basketball. You know, just quick-paced basketball, everybody going hard, everybody aggressive. And that is why our high school basketball is just so exciting because of plays like that. May mga sequences talaga, Coach, na alam mo, yan yung brand, eh. uh, brand of UAP Juniors Basketball. You know, I remember just last Sunday where there were eight plays that happened in a span of 30 seconds. That is how quick our Juniors brand of basketball is. Good to be say. Trying to give it inside to Versosa. Alas, serving down court with the visa with the quick hands. Matienza will receive Dabao. We'll give it to Domancas. Alas, the skip pass. Dabao, the three. He that time can't make it. Domancas floats it up. Can't get the bounce. Daha with offensive rebound. And another chance for LaSalle to score. You know, Delisal Zobel is not the tallest team here in the UEAP. But if you have bigs like Daha and Charles Dimahano, who are always active on the rebounding end, it's such a treat for the coaching staff because these guys really put in their heart in getting those rebounds. They pass it outside to Dabao. They're trying to go to the short corner to Bon Daha. Which is a classic and simple way to break that zone. You really want to be able to get that open corner three that just hasn't worked the past few possessions. Daha drives. Versosa was there. And he was caught with a foul. This will mean two free throws for Bon Daha. So when you look at Bon Daha, this guy is long. This guy is athletic. But he looks so short when he is beside Bricks for Sosa. And that, that is just a pure size of Bricks for Sosa here in the UAP. Gusto talaga natin na sa gitna ka ni Versosa and Daha coach. Oh, and siguro even put the uh, tumaning of, uh, of uh, Adamson. Adamson and then Collins ako way of NU. Pero sa gitna ka pa rin. Sa gitna pa rin ako. <laughs> Alongside Lance Ronquillo maybe. <laughs> Daha makes his second free throw. Six seconds difference between shot clock and game clock. Velasquez gets a switch. Esteban, 
He squares up for a three. Nice rebound there by Lasal Domacas. Looking for a teammate, finds himself open. That time too strong on the shot. And with a second remaining, Velasquez almost. That was straight line for Dirk Velasquez, but that will end. Dabao and the rest of the Salle's Bell Junior Archers off to a great start here. Let's talk about adjustments though, Coach, for USD. What's something that they can do better here in chapter number two? Oh, well, they, have to, they, have to, they just have to be aggressive. They're playing slow here to start the, the, the first quarter. This is not really their usual pace. They're adjusting to the pace of the Salle's Bell. So they just have to put a little bit more aggressiveness for the side of the Salle's Bell. You just have to stay consistent. Of course, all the stepping up, especially when keeper Alas is not inside the court. I was about to mention, Coach, in your pinaka testament, if how well they play without keeper Alas on the court. <laughs> Young guys like uh, Fabis and also Mako Daba will be given an opportunity here to step up in lieu of a resting keeper Alas. Esteban trying to get that Naco play. Ball being tapped around, it ends up with Domancas. So Mako Daba will play point guard without Keeper Alas here. Atienza, short corner. Daba, ball fake. Favis, catch and shoot three, hits nothing but air. The U.S. adjusting back to that zone defense that has been their specialty the whole season long. That was a defense that actually gave them an opportunity to mount a comeback against Adamson who did not have a loss until their last game. So let's see if USD will be able to, uh, to gain back their energy here with his own defense. Lugovice signaling out a play. Versosa towering against Bondaha. He gives it to Monday. Shot clock down to four for USD. Carl to beat the buzzer. Versosa couldn't get the put back and a nice defensive stop for Zabel. A weave action would not work for USD there with denial by LaSalle on every option of USD on that play. Daha cut off by Manding on the baseline. Dungo with the steal, two on one fast break. Here comes Doi to Ludovice for the finish. Doi with all, as we say, steal and an assist for Doi Dungo. The third steal for Doi here in this ball game. Pavis to Daha. Bon. Short corner jumper. And they have been blank in the past couple of possessions. We see Espina and Keeper Alas waiting to check in. Lodovice the drive, but Bon da says not in my house. A good strong attack by USD. We're talking adjustment that is exactly how they adjusted right away. You see here, that might be a block on Kurt Velasquez. But if you're Coach Mano Inigo, you just love your players doing all those attacks because eventually it will give you a lot more opportunities on your offense. Speaking of adjustments, Coach, that's the perfect word to describe how they've been racking up their swings talking about USD. You know, they really have been adjusting each and every game. They have a deep talent 
in terms of just their players, but their adjustments to every game, depending on the opponents, that has been the reason why they have jumped all the way up to number three here in our season. Gomangas short on the midi. The lead cut down to two, two minutes approach here in the second quarter. Horns play for USD Manding with the ball fake, the rip through, the drive, and he was fouled by Bondaha. You know, if there was a statistic on the strongest attack through the middle, I'm sure Carl Manding would be on top of that. You never want to give Manding that middle because he can finish left, he can finish right. That has been the strength of the game of Carl Manding. Let's not forget how well the bigs of USD played against Collins Akowe in that big win versus NU. Dun talaga nagsimula lahat yung confidence ng yes. Tiger Cubs. You know, if if you can get a win against a talented team like that, it's just gonna boost your confidence all the way up. You know, this USD team has not been together for a long time uh, compared to the other teams. They're still slowly adjusting, but now that they're getting comfortable with each other, now that they're finding their roles, now that they have the rhythm throughout the season, this team might be just uh, really peaking at the right time here in their junior division. Daha, left side pass to Espina. The inside pass to Atienza. That's a good shot. She couldn't make it. Nice pass. Dumo, perfect pass. That time, that's a basket and one. Ferrer, who has not seen a lot of minutes here in season 86. Yeah, Mark Ferrer really proving his worth here for USD. Leaking out at the right place and finishing strong with a fast break. Mark Ferrer getting his two, first two points of the ball game. That time can't make his bonus free throw. But USD now with the lead. A taste of the lead for the first time in this game. Espina. Give it to Alas. Kiefer, the no look pass. And Daha will get the midi. The ball, Daha really extending that range. Being a modern day big. Not just a roller, but can also have that short jumper. Velasquez finds Dumo on the staggered screens. Dumo brings it back out. Shot clock dwindling down. Isolated. He goes for the spin move, and the float shot is pure. Doi Dumo really wanting that uh, isolation play. He knows he has that advantage, and perfectly he does. Good one-on-one -on -one play by Doi. It's so nice. Let's see it twice. How about this move? Going left, putting his defender to the help side, and eventually spinning to the wide open floater. He has now filled the stat sheet in the first half with six points, five rebounds, two assists, three steals, and a block. Is there a better way to describe than Mr. Toy with all? Now you look like a genius with that nickname. Pinapuelo ko talaga para sa yon. In the meantime, Ferrer, not a lot of time to shoot. Mark with the drive. Tough angle there. Great defense by Lasal. And Espina will be the one to bring it down court. Arejola to Daha. Bon was looking at Kiefer. Alas contested on the three. Dumo with another rebound. Doi going down court. Sidestep beauty. You know, I need a dictionary. I don't have adjectives anymore to describe this guy. He's just a complete package for USD. Cruz picks up his dribble. Espina, he has been quiet so far. There's a collision on Ferrer and Alas. Watch that again. Off the rebound, one in out, second in out, sidestep. Those were at least four green shirts that he made. He made. He made it look easy. He made it look easy. As we said in the first quarter, napakadali ng basketball para sa mga bata. More, more especially para dito ay doy do. Espina now gets going from beyond the arc. That has to feel 
good for Joaquin Espina. What USC is doing here every time LaSalle is getting a basket, they want to run, run right away and try to go for that quick break. Cruz. We'll give it to Alas. Heavily guarded by Ferrer. Two-man game on the left side. No pocket pass there. Di Maano swings it. Arejola for three. That time too strong. Puma again with a handle. But there was a foul called inside. You know, just talking about Doy, I did not see this kind of a confidence to start the season. We covered him to start the season. He was struggling. He was not yet this kind of a diamond. And all of a sudden, he found a big boost of confidence. And right now, he's just showing that. He was just going to start with his team. Well, this is the importance of the PK game. Because Tied at 23 all. It's not a slow-paced game. Everything is happening all at once. You know, this, this is such an exciting round of basketball, you know, juniors basketball. Sometimes we just have to invest on uh, neck massages because of how quick uh, this basketball ball game is. Libre naman mga coach. Neck massage. Kapag tapos sa fourth quarter, manalaman sa manalaman eh, masasakit na mga leg natin. Buksit. Nice defense by Arewala who gets applauded by his coaching staff there. Espina, shot fake, step back, contested, tough, tough shot. And that's already double digits for Rocky Espina here in this ballgame. Duo, hang time move. Power rebound there by Dimaano, Alas. And Espina catches the ball but sends it outside. Maano at the free throw line. Charles faces up, finds Areola. Back to Charles, the extra swing to Espina. Step back, three pointer. That time, way short. And that is a skill that only few high school kids have. That fake to a step back. Looking like an NBA player right there. And what's more impressive, coach, he squared up falling away. I he think that's tough well to make. Throw, very well in time. J.B. Lynn, look at him go! Winning the track race! You know, really one of the more athletic guards we have here in the UAAP. J.B. Lynn, whenever he has the lane and that space to jump, he will be going for those hard attacks. J.B. Lynn, one of the best young talents for UST. And my hot take is, he is the fastest with and without the basketball. Okay. That is a hot take because we have a lot of guys here in the UEAP who can challenge that. JB Lim. What a pass, Dumo! You were ready to stand, partner. You were ready to stand. Did that play really just happen? <laughs> Even the cameraman was surprised with the pass. A sharp plug in cameraman that then has. Doi Duma just in the second quarter showing his bag of tricks. That time he missed free throw from Koji Bunaflor. Siguro iniisip pa rin niya paano niya nakuha yung pasang yun. Oo, pati siya nagulat eh. He was just running his lane. Doi Dungo. 
was it not even set. Jump ball violation. The ball will remain with the white shirts. Under four minutes remaining here, we are tied at 25. There's Coach Manu Inigo, who will look calm the entire game. In yung sitting position niya. One right in front of the referees, Boxit called with a carry. The yeah, obvious uh, miscommunication from the teammates. Boxit wanted the handoff, but uh, his teammate wanted to push off. So, obvious turnover on Charles Boxit. Sam Reyes once again back in the ball game. JB Lim with a steal. Lim, tough shot, gets fouled by DiMano, and he will get to the stripe to take two free throws. I don't think the turnover is that Lasalle has to be careful with it. USD has one of the more active hands we have here in the league. That is why they always gun for those 2-1 two -two presses because they read the passing lanes perfectly. So LaSalle has to be careful with their passes. No need to rush. Just have to give out quality passes for them to be able to get the ball over. JB Lim making his first free throw. JB Lim is the fourth leading scorer for a USD in what is a deep lineup for Coach Manu Inigo. That's one game in this league. Let's remind everybody that he had seven steals in a ball game. So that's a talent that is brought to you by JB Lim. Cruz to Alas. They've been going to this play and they finally connect from Rainbow County. And we know now why they love that play. It's because every time their teammate is open, they can take it and make it. A last and Dabao connection. Perfect on that last play. Mako Dabao with a seven point. They now have a one point lead. Foul 
this on all the screws on the bump. And you can tell he's frustrated based on that rewind. So this two free throws for JB Lim. And this is his first attempt. JB Lim so far six points, two rebounds, two assists, two steals for the young kid. But misses two free throws. Di mo talaga pwede batiin, coach eh. Oh. That's a rare sight because he's 73% in the season. Alas had the right idea, but Thomas Cruz was not ready. The keeper Alas silently already has five assists here in the ballgame. He is on a triple-double watch. Six points, four rebounds, and five assists for the keeper in the first half. Reyes reverses it to duo. Quick hands by Espina. So that's length on length matchup, Espina and Dumo. USD has nine seconds to operate. Ronquillo, another spin move. It ends up with Esteban, three seconds to shoot. Lim to beat the buzzer. Dabao bringing the ball down. Looking to find holes against the zone. JB Lim, another steal. And JB Lim couldn't convert on the layup. And now it's Alas' turn to run. Kiefer, the drop pass. Daha was fouled. It's again, good read on the driving lane by JB Lim. I'm sorry, the passing lane by JB Lim on the next play. Obvious pass. There's been good communication between Keeper Alas and Bon Daha. That is the third draw pass by Keeper Alas in the last two minutes. And Coach, you like the willingness of Keeper Alas today to really share the basketball. Yes. You know, if he can get his teammates involved in the offense, eventually USD adjusts. And then eventually, it will give a lot more opportunities for Keeper Alas to also do the scoring load. Masal Zabel with a one-point lead. They call a timeout here. Keeper Alas in a triple double watch. JB Lim, fastest man alive. <laughs> in San Juan Arena. In San Juan Arena, there we go. A steal by USD. Ronquillo, one legged fall away. How about that shot from the little guy? What about the comfort level of Lim, Ronquillo, and Dumo together making basketball look so easy? Alas hands it off. Espina. Cut off by Duo on the baseline. LaSalle can take the last shot here in the first half. Alas, fall away three. Won't get the bounce. Versosa with the rebound. Two seconds to shoot. And Daba with a foul right before the buzzer sounded. And I believe LaSalle's in the penalty. Oh, that will hurt. Then LaSalle's a bell. A unheeded foul. For you to go for a steal there as there was only one second left but let's see what the call of the referees will be so the referees are reviewing that last call
No, that was w- last one minute of the second and third quarter. Those are underrated minutes, coach. And these are these are uh, these are the times that it can get the rhythm going for you to start the third quarter. So they are in the penalty, coach, which will mean two free throws for Lance Ronquillo. So LaSalle was pretty much in control this second quarter, but USD handling their business late in Chapter 2. They now have the lead and could extend it further. But there's only one second left on the game clock. So there's still a chance for LaSalle Zabel to get the one-shot attempt here. Ronquillo. Free throw this season. Di siya nagmana sa coach. Oh, malal malayo sa 56 percent ko. Ooh, and just as we were talking about him not missing a single free throw the whole season. Napati mo agad ay me. Hindi ko may tapu na rin tong mga players sa akin. Oh, eh. dapat talaga hindi sila pinag-usapan. Hindi <laughs> talaga na talaga pinag-usapan. We just gotta talk about other people when someone is taking a free throw. There we go. Let's make that a habit, coach. <laughs> Let's make that a habit. A second here. A key from Espina. And that will do it for our first half. The USC Tiger Cubs with a two-point lead. We kind of summarize that last chapter for us, coach. Well, here in the second quarter.
It's not really the strength of De La Salle Jobel, but the bench really stepping up here 12 to 11. But USD really mounting a comeback because of two things. They really went for a quick break 12 to 2 in terms of fast break points. Really control the inside 20 to 10 also in favor of USD. But De La Salle Jobel taking advantage of the turnovers of USD 14 to 10. That is why this has been a very exciting first half in front of us. Let's dive into the storylines further. Starting off with UST, this guy right here. What can he not do? Mr. Doi at all was exceptional again in the first half. Doi Domo really being that highlight in the first half. Already 10.6 rebounds, 4 assists, and 4 steals for Mr. Doi with all Doi Domo. But also helping him is JB Lim. Also with six points and two rebounds, Waki Ludovici also helping out there. And on the other end, Waki Espina being the best, uh, the, the leading scorer of De La Salle Zubel. First one in double digits with 10 points and two three pointers. But Marco Dabao and also Keeper Alas chipping in with seven and six apiece. Those three main guys for De La Salle Zubel has been huge for them to be able to battle it out against the number three UST Tiger Cup. You take a look at the leading scorers here, it's usual suspects for both of these teams. But the question now is, who is going to triple-double? Doi Dungo or Kiefer Alas? Because we have to pay closer attention to that matchup. As you were mentioning the statistics, both of them are in triple-double watch. And both of these teams just really just want to win this game. USC to get their third straight game and for LaSalle to get out of that slump. You know, I'm, I'm sure they're not thinking about the numbers. The question is, how much impact can they make in the third quarter, both of these teams have good coaches, so I'm sure adjustment will be very crucial here in the third quarter. Coach, they really don't have to think about, about the numbers. That's our job, to think yes. of the numbers for them, <laughs> right? This is why we are here. Yes, and we're just very excited each and every time there is a triple-double in front of us. And that is the talent. We are free here in the UAB Junior Division. And we open up chapter number three for you. <laughs> Live here at the Phil Oil Eco Oil Center, USC Tiger Cubs and the De La Salle Zubel Junior Archers. <laughs> Different look here for USD, Ludovice and Velasquez to start off the third. But usually it's going to be Roquillo and Lim, but they probably want a little more scoring, a little more running. So they're going to go away with uh, Ludovice and Lim to start the third quarter. Ludovice, two-man game with Koji, he rejects the screen. Dumo catch and fire three. When the floor stretches for the rebound, Ludovice open for a three. Still can't knock it down. Another offensive rebound for USD, and they make them pay. It's going to be a very versatile five here for USD. When the floor at the five, and Dumo at the floor, so everybody can really move here for USD. Ala straight away three. Money. That is only 45 seconds into the third. So already so much action happening. Nakatalawang piket lang po tayo. Velasquez, too big screen on him. There's that go-to play, but cut off by Espina. Dumo looks at the time, sees three seconds, two seconds. That time out of bounds on Bondaha and a recycled 14 for USD. What's your first activity of Koji with the floor? Enough for him to get that offensive rebound, but on the other end, for a last quick answer through the middle. Very exciting first minute of the third quarter we are having. Velasquez will inbound from the baseline. When the floor had the seal, they pop it out to Ludovice. Off balance shot is good. That's the scoring they need. USC really trying to get a lot more baskets here. The perfect guy to put in is Rocky Ludovice. Cruz, one dribble, floats it up, can't put it in. The go-ahead pass to Velasquez. Serving down court, he awaits for numbers. Then he shoots it from the free throw line. He loves those free throw line jumpers, that time can't connect. Alas made one earlier, different result this time. The UST switching back to the man-to-man -man defense. And that's one thing that is very hard uh, to read with UST. Sometimes they go zone, sometimes they go man. So it really confuses you what offense am I going to run on the next play. Manding, strong drive in the middle. Buena Flor, the quick cross. Koji challenging the double team. Manding stepping in. Buena Flor, jumpers up. 
And another chance for USC. Dungo. The kick out to Lodovice. Four chances for the Tiger Cubs. Daba on the floor. A fifth chance for the Tiger Cubs. How about the hustle and grit of the kids of España? You know, it's the first two and a half minutes of the third quarter, but that is already six offensive rebounds for USD here in the third quarter. Seems like the versatility of this live of USD is doing them good. Relatively small ball for USD, but just pure athleticism and versatility from each and every individual. Eboleda checking in for the first time in the second half. Uh, what do Provide a little bit more muscle for themselves as well. Arboleda, he has the same width and body type as Winnie Arboleda. Oh, yeah. You know, you would never doubt that he is the son of Winnie Arboleda. Even the way he moves, even the way he bumps. People, you know how physical his dad played. It's the same physicality that uh, Arboleda is putting here for the Los Angeles. That time, Alas was fouled. Which Boris on your screens was looking to get a big win and to keep their final four chances in play. Oh yes, they're very much alive here in the season, but they need to get one going for them to be able to mount and come back to end the final four picture. They have the talent, they, just, they have just not gotten the Ws. Perfect skip pass. And how many times have we seen that Alas and Espina connection? You know, that is the third triple of Wacky Espina, and two of those triples are coming off here for Alas. Manding. Signature drive. And once again, through the middle, Carl Manding. Which is hardest to guard, the oh, yeah. the middle. You don't know if he goes left or right. Bondaha, transition three-pointer, Cruz with the rebound. Espina, another three. That time, Bondaha caught with too much physicality. But first, take a look at that skip pass. Keeper last giving it to the farthest man possible. But on the next play, Carl Mading once again through the middle. You know, he's Carl M. I don't think M is for Manding, it's M for middle. <laughs> Coach Matita jokes with Alaga. Ludovice! That time from the left side. This three-guard lineup working on the way for Coach Manu. Oh yeah, it is really working wonders for Coach Manu. It's giving them energy, giving them good speed and versatility. And now they have a seven-point edge against the Los Alas, catch and shoot three. Couldn't answer. Manding, Sky for the rebound. Four minutes has approached. A seven-point lead for USD. This is their biggest of the ballgame. Two-man game, Velasquez and Manding. Kurt, the cross, the fake, the fall away, and he will not get the bounce. It's good defense by Cruz there. Espina, that time too strong. Look at Velasquez get that rebound. Numbers for the Tiger Cubs. Lodovice from Velasquez. You know, these two are just so comfortable with each other. They know where the other one is running. That is the comfort level of Ludovice and Velasquez. Arboleda, aggressive, straight to the cup. You know, that is something we rarely see from Arboleda, getting those drives. But this kid has the talent to make those baskets a good drive by Arboleda. Velasquez picks up his dribble. Quinn Flor faces up, challenging Cruz. Koji off the bank and in. <laughs> Koji can put the ball on the floor, can get the ball on the post. A complete big for USD who can do a lot of, of things for them. Espina sends it out back to Wacky. Was bumped by Dumo. He will be caught with a personal. And if you're LaSalle, you don't want things to get out of hand. But Koji with the floor, putting on the moves. Kojo on the floor, we've been talking about this kid the whole season long. Whatever you need from him, he is going to provide for that position. Can shoot, can dribble, 
And more importantly, can play defense against any position that he needs to play defense on. Alas, they've been making him shoot. He's one for three for the quarter. Checking in, maybe Lim as well. And if you're a LaSalle coach, how do you dial down and make sure USD, this lead of USD doesn't get out of hand? You need, you need to make stop, you need to adjust on the attacks of USD. They've been making easy attacks here in the third quarter. You have to close down on that and on the offensive end, just have to trust your system. Are you not entertained with that shot? But Doi Dumo just showing us his arsenal here in this game. Fade away to the right, off a step back. What else can you do if you're the defense? Really just pray. The half loader. They have been blank from the past couple of sequences. Manding, full steam ahead, but he was reminiscing in pain here. But first, let's take a look at this move. Between the legs, through the right, barely any space. Dame Duo. Dame Duo. You like that, coach? You know, Doi Dame. <laughs> Whatever works. Duo Dollar. He's just that good. He's just that good. Kuang kuha yung footwork ni Dame. Oh, yeah. Si Dame talaga ng pausan ng coach. This guy is a wing. But, you know, moving forward, he can play one, he can play two. You know, here in the high school division, he even plays all the way up to that four position. Let's watch this first. He's a little shaken up. Ooh. It's like a left knee. A little bit Charlie horse. Could be a Charlie horse as well, that's right. So we do hope he's okay. Charles Munding is made of steel. He's walking like nothing ever happened. I swear it pays to be young, coach. But to be this age once again and to play UAAP high school basketball, this is a dream that a lot of kids really want to be on. Ronquillo. Too strong on the iron. Alas. Gets his eighth rebound of the game. Keeper to Espina. To Daha. Back to Keeper. Dangerous pass. Great presence of mind there from JB Lim. Versosa checking in with Charles Esteban. Pina from deep. He has been quiet so far. JB Lim. The hesitation, the kick out. Ronquillo. Will orchestrate the offense here. Has a taller Espina on him. Uses the Esteban screen. Lim. Shot fake. Drive. What a rejection there by Espina. Wacky. Keeper. And the elbow jumper won't get the bounce. Daha with the putback. Daha has, has been very active here in today's ball game. That is the fifth rebound of Bon Daha in the third offensive rebound, giving him a second chance point there. Duo. That time too strong. Ronquillo rushing to get a recycled 14. Dungo wants the isolation. Esteban squares up for a three. Can't put it in. Tracks his own miss. Floats it up. Still no go. Versosa. Still no. A lot of sorry misses there for USD. Those are two easy baskets for Briggs Versosa. But the defense of LaSalle staying active right to bother the attempt. Of Brits Versosa, so the activity is enough for them to force a miss. 
We approach our two-minute mark here in our third chapter. La Sala has been limited to just eight points here in the corner. Alas, one dribble, pull up. That one is smooth. You can never give him enough space. This guy, when he sees a scoring option, he will take it, he will make it. That nope. shot puts him in double figures with 11 points. Single-digit lead for USD, Ronquillo. Tried to lob it over Sosa. Alas, looking to slow things down. JB Lim. One time that's a foul on JB Lim. But those are the JB Lim type of fouls. Watch that one dribble pull up first. Give him that place to the right. That's what he jumps for the jumper. It's just so much talent coming from Keeper Alas. The Mancas receives. Favis to Daha. Bon. How about that hesitation? De Maano coming out of nowhere for the rebound. And now is with JB Lim. Lim on the drive. Basket and the foul. But every time JB Lim attacks, it's always so aggressive. It's like playing 2K. And all you are pressing is the R2 button. Strong attack, strong body. Tough finish. For him to make the basket. Good for that, the reference. It's a if you know, you know thing. Yeah. <laughs> if you know, you know. Sorry for the Xbox users. <laughs> I don't know what button it is. But we are a PlayStation user, so it's the R2 button. <laughs> JB Lim now in double figures as well. Smina. To Dimaano. Nine seconds to shoot for Lasal De Maano, nice pass to Daha. Tried to save the basketball. Fabis ball fake. Nice pass. Daha with the finish. And they have their own version of a two plus one special. And Bon Daha has relatively been contributing here. Not really a name we've been talking about the whole season long for the Lasalle Bell. That's a great pass by Fabis. So the shot clock winding down. He did not panic. And dropped it down below to Bonda. Single digit lead under a minute remaining here. And just looking at these guys, I assume that these guys have a few years left here in the UEFP. So very exciting future ahead. Para Dita Sedela Salzbel. Lead cut down to eight. Lasal looking to finish the third quarter strong. Ronquillo. We'll initiate the offense here. Esteban at the middle. Versosa looking for it. Ferrer drives, but that time no passport on the travel. Do you see that Coach Manu Tomayo this game? No need. His players are doing well. It's the luxury to have players like Doi Duo and Lance Ronquillo. Alas. He will challenge Versosa, who was, who was blocked. What a rejection, but De Mahano with the cleanup. Good thing Charles De Mahano was ready for that offensive board. So in the second quarter, we talked about Lasal not finishing the quarter strong. That's a great block by Versosa. But now, the, in the last two minutes or so, it's been all Lasal so far. Alas to Daha. Won't get the bounce. Ball being tapped around. It ends up with Daha. He challenges Versosa. Kicks it out to beat the buzzer. And that will end three quarters of play. A strong start for a USD. But LaSalle ending the
Kiefer Alas with 11 points, 8 rebounds, and 7 assists. So he is in a triple-double watch. Speaking of dads, Winnie Arboleda, former PBA player supporting his son. We welcome you to the fourth quarter here in the Phil Oil Equal Oil Center. USC still starting on that 2-3 zone. Domangas unafraid to shoot. Three minutes, coach, will be crucial here for LaSalle. He's going to have to slow down USD, but that is the perfect way to start the fourth quarter by getting easy baskets like that. Good pass by Keeper. Mr. Quality Minutes, Favis off the bench. They cut this lead down to four. Dungo, he likes that spin move, but better defense by Daha. Telling his team to slow things down. Fabis unafraid. Package delivered. I love the confidence of this kid. Not really a guy you would see to get a lot of minutes. But here today, stepping up in this big game. Fabis with five straight points. Duo sidestep. Too much muscle on the floater. Alas, a rebound. Good box out by De La Salle Bell there to get him a rebound. And Alas is only one assist away from getting that triple-double. High-low play, Dimaano, point-blank miss. Lim, shifting gears, takes it all the way. Once again, very crucial basket by J.B. Lim. De La Salle Bell was knocking on the door of USD, but J.B. Lim closing it down for the meantime. Domancas bounce past the Maano, open to textbook press break. No need to dribble, all you have to do is have quality passes, five passes, open Charles Imano on the inside. Velasquez, the pull up jumper. Kiefer Alas, the rebound. Kiefer kicks it out, Favis from the corner, bottoms! Triple double for Kiefer Alas, second three pointer. And now De La Salle Zobel takes the lead. We wanted De La Salle Zobel to start strong. And this is perfectly how you want to start if you are the LSZ. Keep her last with a triple. Eco Oil Center and the King Junior Archer now with a triple double. More importantly, they have a two point lead here. We'll see how USD respond. Ludovice to take back the lead in and out. That's the bell really doing the right things here on the defensive end. That is why they are having good opportunities on their offense. Favis to Daha on the short corner. He puts it beyond the arc. De Maano working at the post. Favis, he has been hot. That time could not convert the three. Dumo. Count the basket and the foul. Much needed basket for USD right here. The run 
has been going the side of Zobel, but Dungo wanting to slow things down for Zobel. Strong hard attack, getting the foul and the bucket here. Kung sa open water, dangerous yung sharks, di ba? Sa open court, dangerous si Doi Dungo. USD in general, you have JB Lim and Doi Dungo. You never gonna see them on an open break. Just like that, USC takes back the lead. Pavis, they've been going to this play. He's getting a little too excited. He's getting a little too excited here. Three minutes has approached here in our fourth and final quarter. Dungo, the kick out, Ludovice. One dribble, midi, and he will take two. These are the attacks that we haven't seen from USD to start the first quarter. They played a little bit slower on their pace. That is why uh, Zobel had a comeback here. But that seems like USD is running back with that energy. But let's just look at the numbers of Kiefer Alas. 11 points, 12 rebounds, 10 assists. We were talking about, we have to know if there was a player who has had two triple doubles in a single season. season. We will double check with our Sultan of Stats in uh, Sir Pong Dukanes. What an impressive feat so far though. JB Lim, patience is a virtue. JB Lim extending his point total all the way up to 13 here. Two possession ball game in favor of the kids in white. Ala skips it, Favis. That time a turnover. Outlet pass to Luto Vise, but could not get a handle. Well, the time just got a little bit too excited. That was a two versus one fast break opportunity. Mako Daba will check in for Favis. How about that? He gets a round of applause from his coaching staff. He was averaging a point per game. Now has eight. You know, sometimes all you need is an opportunity for you to prove yourself. Now Fabis has really proven that he is worth the minutes here for the result of now. Dungo with lightning quick hands there. Lim finds daylight. Dungo receives and knocks it down. Victory coming from Doi. Five points, sorry, six points in the first quarter to get them back to a comfortable lead. Back after that LaSalle timeout, they were off to a great start here in the fourth quarter, but Doi Dungo heating up in the past couple of possessions. They are now up by eight. Dimaano chases that basketball. Dabao to Alas, to Espina. Finds a lane in the baseline, up and under move. The one guy we have not heard of in the past few minutes is Waki Espina, the leading scorer of De La Salle Bell. They have to create for him a lot more because he can get a lot of scoring done for De La Salle Bell. Manding attacks the middle, and he is rewarded with two free throws. So that is attack once again. To the left corner, goes for a fake, up and under. Waki Espinas, every time he has that range, he'll be going for that jumper. 
but they need to create a lot more space for him for him to get going here in the fourth especially the last five minutes Carl man in the middle Manding it's a good nickname it's a good nickname the man in the middle the man in the middle man in the middle He misses his first free throw. And he goes 0 for 2. There's still a window here for LaSalle. Tabao gets a little bump from Lim. Mako to Charles. Ball pressure applied there by Manding. He skips it to Espina. Shot clock down to 5. Tabao puts one off. JB Lim sprinting, Koji has it. And almost a counter steal there from Mako Dabao. And that was a straight line from Mako Dabao with that three. Ludovice using the Buena Flor screen, but Koji was not set. It's going back to the five that gave him a comfortable lead in the third quarter. This was the five that brought the lead all the way up to 12 points in the third. So let's see if uh, it will do them another good uh, run here in the fourth. So more than halfway done here in our fourth and final quarter, a three possession ball game. Dabao looking to change things. Much more silent second half for Mako Dabao. Doi Duma with a rebound will put him to a double double 20 points and 10 rebounds for Doi Duma. Manding for the quick cross. We love that. Fake pass through the right and then attack hard through the middle. That has been his uh, specialty of the house the whole season long. Carl Manding the middle. Dimaano, double teamed. Quick hands there for USD. Dumo, the outlet pass, and Doi with another two points. Good league out pass by his teammate there, finding a running Doi Dumo, extending the lead all the way to nine here. It seems like this five is the death five of Ocano Diego here in this ballgame. Jamie Lim make that pass look so easy. Just pure connection from these uh, USD Tiger Cubs. Dungo with 21 points last game and 22 points this game. He's having himself a second round so far. Nice pass. Alas. Daha short on the layup. Demaano with quick hands. Still can't get it. And Dungo with another rebound. Attacks the middle, was fouled by Keeper. Alas was asking for a ward off. The quick first step of JB Lim. So hard to defend. Instant burst of speed. And once again, we're talking about the guy. He misses the free throw. Once again, Gusto ako tumahimik ako. Yeah, gusto. <laughs> Usap na lang tayo. Ah, Pag-usapan natin si Mandy. <laughs> Mandy is playing good today. Oh, pasok yung pangalawa. <laughs> I'm seeing a trend, coach. <laughs> well, that's a foul on USD. So a 10-point game. Fabis is back in the court. He has been the magic bunot of Coach Boris. They need, they need, they need scoring right here in Fabis is a guy who can catch and shoot right away whenever he's open. So I'm sure they'll be looking at him to maybe get some threes here to get them running. Another foul on J.B. Lim. It's his third personal foul. So they are not yet in the penalty. 3.14 remaining here in the fourth quarter. 
Lasal has been in a dry spell in the past couple of possessions thanks to plays like that. JB Lim caught with the carry. It seems like it really is part of the game plan in the scouting report on how USD is reading passing lanes. Most of the steals of Doi Dung and JB Lim has been from passing lanes. And they have six and five respectively on the steals. Espina to Alas contested on the three. He has been one for seven from beyond the arc. Look, the Vise Horns play. Uses the left side screen. Wacky the kick out to Manding. Carl finding an opening. Alas was fouled. I believe they are now in the penalty. That's a good shot uh, by Carl Manding. Something you would think if you're the coach. Just not enough English on the floater, but still, you would give him a lot more opportunities on those drives. Watch here again. Favorite drive through the middle, wide open. But still, Carlton did end his comfort zone in the middle. This will be the first and second attempt of Keeper Alas. Getting his second triple double of the season and it couldn't have come at a better time having both his older brother and dad watching him. I don't know if it's a pressure or a compliment that his dad and his brother both legends in their own ways in Philippine basketball. But now a third alas is up and coming and that's keeper alas. Duma looks at the time. Very under control. In these moments, Doi Dumo in and out dribble. Doi gives it to Waki. Ludovice, four seconds to shoot. Dumo to beat the buzzer. Package delivered. Pure talent, pure skill, pure confidence. Doi Dumo showing that he is one of the up and rising stars in the UAP. That's his 25th point of the game. Last two minutes here, Espina. Top shot, he's made a lot of those in this game. Joaquin has been really living and dying from those jump shots. I believe he has not made a layup in this ball game. Let's go back just one play before. Doi Dumo, one second on the shot clock. That's enough time. And then Joaquin has been a quick answer with a jump shot. Both of these players, elite wings here in the UAP Juniors. Doi Dumo. We're going to get more points here. How would you describe? I'm going to put it on you, coach. I'm going to give you a hard question, okay? How would you describe Doi Duma's offense in today's game? Do we have a dictionary nearby? Because uh, we have adjectives natin to describe this guy. But you know, just purely talented, purely instinctive, and just high IQ. <laughs> Okay, you instinctive coach. Huh? Big word. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Perfectly describing Doi Do. In the meantime, Duo passed it to the wrong jersey. Alas in transition. Keeper blocked by behind. USD just looking like a well oiled machine in their past games. The Sal will call a timeout under two minutes remaining here in our fourth chapter.
A minute and 41 seconds remaining. Lasalle looking to make one last push here in this ball game. It has to start in this possession, and Favis squares up for a three, no good. A recycled 14 here for the Green Shirts. 133 left, down 11. It'll be a very hard knock in the fly, but if you are the Lasalle Chagall, you cannot stop playing because this can still give you enough rhythm to end of the year. Watch here. Last touch seems to be on a wacky little beach. Silence na lang ako. <laughs> Ludovice behind your on your screens with a quiet 14 points. I would not notice with the way JB Lim and, and Doi Dumo really played today, really putting everybody on their shoulders. But Joaquin Ludovice surprisingly also has 14 and a very efficient 14, 45% field goals. Two of two free throws. In under 20 minutes. Under 20 minutes. Talk about a microwave. Lucky Ludovice. Also one guy, Carl Manding, getting 20 minutes of play, 8 points, 10 big rebounds. So it will be Archer's basketball here. One good execution, one good basket can still keep them alive in this ball game. Alas will inbound from the baseline. Nice play to Espina. Two people met him. Drop pass, Cruz. Dimaano was not prepared. Shot clock down to seven. Espina falling away to his left. And Duo secures another rebound. Three-pointer. That is good. for USD. That is Alcin Kao with the three-pointer was not seen a lot of minutes. And you like to see that coach. Oh, yeah. yung, yung, when someone who does not get a lot of playing time and you see him on the board score a basket. That is what basketball and that is what teammates are all about. It's always exciting if someone is given an opportunity and they repay them by scoring baskets, doing the right thing, and Aljan Kao, on his first attempt, makes his three right away. Pavis from the corner, Cruz, stick back, won't go, Duo. That's his 13th rebound. The guy Duo is still knocking on the door of that mythical five. He may be one of those guys that may be in consideration. Dimaano with a block, Espina still running, transition three. Alas with the rebound, it will just not be enough for Lasalle. They put up a really good fight there in the fourth quarter and late in the third, but UST, as we saw in their last game, really holding their ground in the end game. You know, good adjustments, that then five of Coach Manu Inigo. 